Hello, my beautiful plant people. How are we today? Welcome back to the channel. If we haven't met before, I am Sam from Plant Collector Melbourne, even though we are not at PCM today. For those of you that can guess or have been watching me uh, throughout my journey on YouTube, we are in the greenhouse. And yes, it has been so, 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 so long since I have filmed in the greenhouse. It's feeling super nostalgic to the point where I have my cup of tea. I'm at mum and dad's where the greenhouse is situated and it's been a very long time. So for those of you that don't know, the greenhouse essentially was where I kept all of my personal collection when I lived here in this house. Mum and dad started to live in this house and I moved out, but the greenhouse still stays here. And I <laughs> am a bit cheeky and I don't come to the greenhouse often. Luckily, I have a beautiful mother and father. mum has got actually a very good green Thumb, so she looks after my babies so so well and because it's been so long there is a lot of work to do here so this video's intention is that I wanted to show you guys what the greenhouse is looking like now it's been so many years and some of you are probably wondering what it looks like I thought I'd give you a tour I'll show you some of my very favorite plants um, and also do some plant maintenance stuff as well because like I told you it's been a very long time there's a lot of I would say dead leaves and I think that I would love to rejig this space because it is wild in here just like me so let's get into it So that is the front door and I have just walked in. This is the bench of where I usually put the camera. So I'm going to have to clear that out. Um, this is one side of the greenhouse. One of the shelves. One of my absolute favorites is this Winlingry eye. I'll have to show you guys that a little bit later, close up. You've got another shelf. We've got pretty much where the um, sphagnum moss walls were. It's just wild. There are just so many plants and inflows and <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell that I haven't been here in a long time? And then I've just got the heater right in the center. Um, that over there is all of the cord boxes. But yes, welcome back everyone. <laughs> So, and these uh, misters have not gone on for a very, very long time. <laughs> oh my goodness, where do I even begin? So I think this greenhouse was made pre-COVID. Um, I'll have to look up the year I actually got this made. I feel like it was either 2019 or either 2019 or 2020. Um, and back then I was coming into the greenhouse every day. I've actually got a chair right here, which is where I would film all of my older videos. Um, but it is currently being used as a, as a table for the plants. So I've got plants everywhere. I would really love to move a lot of them. I want to chop off all of the leaves. And I guess the story behind this, for those of you that have not followed me on my journey up until this point, is that 
I used to have lots and lots of plants in my home, in my room. It got to like a hundred plants and my partner was like, that is too much, Sam. We have a problem. I was like, we don't have a problem. And I mentioned one day like, uh, having a greenhouse. Jacob loved that idea. So we made the greenhouse uh, back in the day. It is still one of my favorite places to be, but I guess because it is so cluttered at the moment and a lot of things are, um, I guess haven't been really well maintained because of this one here. Now that it is spring, I'm going to be tidying it up, hopefully making it a cleaner space um, and I can see lots of yellow and brown leaves. I reckon I haven't been in the greenhouse for many, many months um, since the store opened up in Richmond. So there's a lot of work to do here. Um, I don't really have a vision, but let's just get into it. Let's start cleaning. I'll start moving some plants and also show you guys some of my favorite plants at the moment. Maybe I'll show you guys my top five. How does that sound? I'll show you guys these plants because these are definitely some of my absolute favorites, which is why they sit right next to the humidifier, which is where the the camera is situated on um, and it is this one has definitely been one of my absolute favorites it it died and then came back to life but -da 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 -da, this is a anthurium rotolantii or rotolantium I haven't actually looked up what the deal is with the actual name but isn't she Stunning. So I think I got this maybe two or three years ago. It died back because I think it had root rot and then it went through a winter and it wasn't really happy but this thing used to be massive. Um, don't get me wrong, I think it is still beautiful and a really great size um, but it used to be so much bigger. And as you can see here, let's cover my face so that you can see the inflow or the efflorescence. So the spathe is green and the spadex is like purple and very straight and very like uniform because in other, I'm going to see if I can find, oh yes, here we go. As I say this, the spadex can be really long and then kind of taper at the top like so. So this is a crystallinum one and here you can see that it's very like one shape. It doesn't really taper. Um, up until the very very end so that is a really cool feature and as you can see it is pebbled in my experience this plant is actually so so easy to look after and I know that when you think pebbled or corrugated things that you might think oh stay away that they're really hard to look after but let's just say that I do not care for this plant very much the humidity is absolutely atrocious in here I have a humidifier recently just because my dad thought of getting me one as a present but but other than that yeah this plant had very low humidity and big fluctuations and it is still happy as Larry the roots are looking good yes this is one of my favorites. Um, I don't think I've shown this guy in a very, very long time, but this is the OG Crystallinum. Oh no, are you stuck? Oh, you're stuck because there is a Paradiso Verde that has just like completely entwined into it. So I'll show you that in a sec. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you guys will definitely want to see the original Crystallinum that is my logo. So there is that. Pendant Anthuriums. I am such a fan. I'll show you this guy. So he's not particularly my favorite favorite, but he's still nice. Oh, uh, nope. He's stuck as well. So I can't show you that. <laughs> uh, everything is wild. I have a Monstera area root in it and it's, it ain't coming out. So we're leaving that one. This one is definitely a top five for me and this my friends is a anthurium winlingrii and i got this one uh this one oh how long ago was this i'm gonna say three years ago maybe three two four i don't know now, in between, i mean it's a big gap but in between two to four years ah uh, my memory sucks anyway so this is a pendant anthurium and so the leaves are a bit juvenile here, but look at this guy. Isn't it amazing? Ah, oh, it is as, is it as long as my torso? Yeah, it's pretty much as long as my torso, wild. And so one of my favorite things about this guy is how beautifully ribbed um, it is. And I just, I want this to be in like a hanging pot and somewhere in the greenhouse, but I haven't really quite 
figured out um, the best way to do that. And yeah, I think this guy struggled for a really long time and now it is finally happy after a good repot and feed. Um, yes, definitely one of my absolute favorites. Um, okay, what else? What else, what else, what else is in here that I love? Oh, so I definitely can't pick this up. So this guy here is a Anthurium Round Velvet. Um, and this is absolutely one of my favorite anthuriums. It is so big. The sinus is awesome. I'll do a close up for you guys as well. Um, and that one was from Haley and Jake, um, but originally from uh, Chris and Arden. Uh, and that one's actually a species, believe it or not. Um, I've got many variegated Monstera Bozagianas. I got one, two, three, four, five under there. Oh, and also I wanted to show you the round velvet uh, inflorescence as well, because it kind of looks similar now that I'm looking at it to the Rhodolantii, but it's um, a lot darker and more purple. So I'll show you guys that too. Oh yeah, I got to show you guys this thing, but it is struggling at the minute because I repotted it. And it's not happy. And surprisingly, um, in terms of pests, somehow there is a beautiful balance of pests um, and beneficial insects or something because my um, family don't do pest management. And even though there are definitely some pests, it's never taken down anything. Like I, have been, I haven't been here in months. Um, so yeah. I can see some scale here. One thing, one of the intentions of this video is to show you guys that plant, I guess plant care and your plants aren't always perfect. And that is one of the reasons why I wanted to show you guys the greenhouse as it is now. While I haven't done much at all because I just want to kind of challenge that stigma of perfect plants. And so what I'm about to show you is a plant that is definitely not perfect. We've got pests and I'm okay with it because I have beneficial insects in here and they will be fine. I will spray if I think needed, but I think she's fine. So there is this guy. Oh, say it, but I repotted it. It had root rot. It still has root rot. But this guy is amazing. So this is a red stem Hoffmanii cross. And even though this guy doesn't look super sexy right now, I'm going to show you a photo of my friend Tino. So this plant originally had so, so many pups and I gave some to some friends to share it around because um, I know how beautiful this thing can be. Um, and I will get a photo here for you it is so, so stunning. And I've even got a baby Ugh, somewhere too. So this was one of the pups and this guy gets so black and the stems get really red as well as, I hope you guys can see the abaxial veins. Oh, they get super red as well. So yeah, this is a pup. I'm probably gonna keep it even though when I showed the photo, of Tino's one, everyone was like, I want it. Um, but I have this thing where I like to keep two um, of each of my favorite things. So this one is staying with me. What else is in here? A lot of Syngonium. I got a Vici in here that died back heaps as well and then came back to life. Is it a surprise that majority of them are Anthurium? <laughs> oh, I'm loving my Adabapawensi as well. This guy here. I know that they're in TC, but there is just something about the shape and the color of the back um, that I really love. So yeah, that one's a stunner. Don't know if this will surprise you guys, but I do have lots of Syngonium in here that I love, like a confetti, a milk confetti, fantasy, pink splash, panda. Um, I've got an Aurea in here as well. But um, yeah, I like my Syngoniums. Not as much anymore, but I still like them. Um, and lots of phyllos around as well. Oh, Syngonium chia pens. That one is also really beautiful. Anyway, so what's next? What shall we do? I think it's time for me to start sorting out the greenhouse. So I'm um, just guys, I'm just gonna put you guys down. Oh, actually, before I go, I totally have to show you this. So this is my beautiful tenue that is, gets, pardon me, 
that is absolutely huge um, but also ho hopefully you guys can see that it is <laughs> it is leaning um, <laughs> and poor leaf every time I come in here I just step on it it is just like a wild jungle in here oh man that one there is a Dean McDowell lots and lots of goodies um, what else is fun oh yeah I'll show you guys some of the close-ups so here is the original the OG um, crystallinum that is on my logo oh that gives me such good memories um, the rhodolantium let me get a good shot of that for you guys it's how do I make sure that it's in focus there we go some of my elbows here is the round velvet stunning and it is a huge leaf maybe I can do a comparison on my hand <laughs> And let's find that. Here it is. So we got a new leaf in there. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? So cool. Um, oh yeah. A rugosum in there. It's a bit too dark. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah. And then there's also a hidden Florida beauty in there just hidden <laughs> underneath and also there is a hole in the greenhouse so yes it does have some cold let's do a before shot is all of the dead <laughs> leaves from the greenhouse. I'd say it's probably about two, uh, maybe like a third full, maybe two thirds. Anyway, there was a lot. So this is what it's currently looking like. So everything's starting to look a lot more healthy, just a lot more green. If there's definitely one tip that I can give you guys is that if you ever feel that your plants are struggling or dying is to definitely just get rid of all the dead leaves um, and just starting fresh again. Now, I had the intention of cleaning this whole bench um, and then rearranging the plants so they started to look a bit fancier, a bit nicer. Um, but I can see here that I'm totally running out of time. So instead I'm going to change it up and just show you guys um, the plants that are in the greenhouse, my point of view. So when you first walk in, and then I might even do a video where I'm rearranging so that you guys can see the before and after of the greenhouse. But I guess it's gonna be a while before I take all of the plants um, to me and Jacob's new house. So I better make this a beautiful space again. Anyway, so we've got, again, the Dean McDowell. We have an Anthurium watermelonese, I believe is what it's called. He's looking a bit funky and probably needs a repot. Some Syngoniums. The Tenue. We have this really cool Anthurium as well. I've forgotten what it's called. What are you called? It's an Ephalo, oh, is that just an, eph oh, it's an Ephalobum. That can't be right. There's also another one here, but I forget what that's called, like a telemensiae or something. Oh, beautiful. J 
just beautiful. And alocasia. This is my Clarinervium that used to look incredible. It's non TC and it definitely had root rot. So that one's been struggling. <laughs> Here comes the Winlingrii. Where is it? Nope, hidden. There she is. What else do we got? Some alocasia at the bottom. I got a huge Jose Buono in there. Milk confetti, Zingonian, one of the variegated Monstera. Here is a Vitarifolium. Mm, what else is fun in here? Mm. We've got this. Philodendron exinum, exinum, extinum, that I love. Avicii. What else have we got? We've got this really cool thing. I think that's like a Forgetii crossed with something, something. I'm ha I've had that for years. Here's a Glorious. And in here we've got a Syngonium Chia Pens. Next to my variegated Monstera, another one. Um, my Philo Soderoy is looking super sexy, but totally needs <laughs> to be um, on a pole of some sort. We have this guy which is a um, Cebu Blue, but a big form. That one's from Haley and Jake. So apparently there's a big form and a small form. Um, but yeah, super beautiful. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Another variegated Monstera. I showed you guys these. Um, but yeah, there is a mix of, there's a mixed bag in here. Um, and like I said, I haven't really, oh, and a little fry deck. The mama fry deck is no longer variegated. Where is she? She's here somewhere. Oh, in here somewhere. There she is. And yeah, so, oh yeah, and a regosum as well. Oh, is it too dark for y'all to see? There we go. So I've definitely got a mixed bag um, in the greenhouse, but I actually haven't really collected that much for a while. Um, I think anything that has been newly acquired is at the store. So maybe I'll show you guys my cabinet at some point. So let's get the after shot before and after. <laughs> And in these tubs are like probably dead Hoya. Oh, actually, no, they're still alive, even though I haven't touched them in years. Um, as well as some, I think that's still Hoya. Yeah, more Hoya, 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 Hoya. And I think I had some jewel orchids in here, but I'm pretty sure they are dead. <laughs> and normally I will just grab this guy and my favorite setting, which I'm pretty sure is this. Nope. Oh, it is that. Oh, yeah. This, my friends, is the best part about having a greenhouse. And I guess that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me in the greenhouse. I know it has been a very, very long time. I hope you enjoyed some of the plants that I got to show you. Um, some of these are definitely very dear to my heart. Um, and this is my personal collection that I've been collecting since 2018. Um, I definitely have a lot in the store in one of the Ikea, the Millsbo cabinet. So I will definitely be showing you guys a little tour or um, my collection in that so a lot of it is to do with anthurium I think I have maybe 
to philodendron in there but I will definitely be filming that at some stage and I would love to take this opportunity to say thank you so so much to the people that have been on this journey with me ever since I built the greenhouse or ever since I started YouTube um, it was during COVID um, a time when I was really down and didn't have that much to look forward to and I guess that was the time when I got really inspired to do YouTube and thanks to you guys and your support not only did I get to do it back then but I get to continue to do it now. I am so so lucky and so so grateful for you being on this journey with me or even if you're new thank you so much for watching. I'll keep you updated on what I do with this greenhouse space additionally also the updates on the new greenhouse that will be built um, at me and Jacob's new place. I'm planning to do a custom build so it may take some time before it actually um, starts to come into fruition. There's a lot of different things that I want to do and I want to start designing it with Jacob. Um, so thank you in advance for your patience. But of course, I'll be sharing it with you guys along the journey. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to see what the future holds and what this, this greenhouse is going to look like as well as the next greenhouse and what that is going to look like. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!